Well, so when we started looking for houses, we knew that we liked the Lake Murray area and we've, we've rented in this area for almost 10 years now. And we recently we started doing a lot of walking and we walk around the neighborhood and we live, our recent rental house was about a mile and a half from here. So we would walk this neighborhood all the time. And she would jokingly say, I want you to buy me a house over here as we'd walk by this neighborhood. And we laughed. And, and we laughed because we're like, oh, we'll I never be Gari. able to afford yeah. that. Call me a house, buy me a house right there, Gari. And we'd actually look down this street. Yeah. And I'd say, okay, I will. And he would and, laugh, joking. And we'd laugh because, <laughs> you know, we'll never be able to afford a house over here. And then, um, here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to John and Melissa. Yes, thanks to John and Melissa. We were going to a lot of open houses, and we were actually were working with a realtor that we met at an open house, and then we were kept conti we continued to go to open houses, but um, and then we we fired our realtor because I'm very particular about the um, service that I get, and we met a lot of realtors, and every open house you go to, the realtors want to um, be your realtors, and um, we met John and Melissa, and we thought, oh, another more realtors to be want to be our realtors, and but something about them I liked right away. I have to say, I liked the fact that there were two of them, and I liked that uh, I just liked their their passion for real estate, and I like they were likable, and they weren't uh, too too pushy. But at the same time, I knew they would just be on. I just could tell they would be on top of it, our business. And they were. They, from the time we started with them, they were always. From when when Tina told them what we were looking for, they would send us listings exactly what we were looking for. And they would broaden the range a little bit, and and you, we could tell that they weren't just flooding us with, with listings because even on listings when they know we might not like it, they would let us know ahead of time. Hey, we know this doesn't fit your criteria, but we wanted to let you know about this anyways because it's out there. There might be something about it you might like, and and that was a lot different than other realtors where they just flood you with everything and don't tell you no rhyme or reason why. And as we would look at those listings, we'd be like, we don't, we didn't even want, uh, did they not look at the list of what we were looking for? So um, that was really impressive with them. Yeah. And the amount yeah. of communication. Yeah. Um, the, the reason why I fired the, the one prior was just because there wasn't enough communication. And I would, they wouldn't, she wouldn't respond in, a, I think, at an appropriate amount of time. So it was just, just the right amount of, of communication. And they were very thorough with um, their the listings. So they just because nowadays, I mean, I was looking on Redfin, uh, you know. But so you think, why do I even need a realtor? But they really did. They just gave us more information, you know, that I could just get from Redfin and the way that they summarized it. And you know, it, it was just really good information. I felt like uh, that's why we have a realtor. So um, I think you know, purchase, buy, buying a house, especially, it's it's emotional. And especially this this time because this day and age because you're 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 looking for houses and so is a, a lot of other people and it's not just I mean you're you're having these competitive bids and um, so I we, I got real emotional and I maybe had a little um, little temper tantrum in my own way just about you know I'm not finding a house that I I want every time I find a house it's like you know everybody's offering more than the asking price so then we can't afford it and so I, kind of halfway through maybe I sort of gave up. I wanted to give up. So of course I want I uh, emailed John and <coughs> Melissa and told them that I I've had it. It's just not in the cards for us to have a house, you know, because it's just the market and oh they just really they handled me so well. They did they I, I teased Melissa because I thought they didn't know they had to be psychologists too because as a realtor I think you have to be a psychologist to, to work with us while we're just being, being emotional. And they they handled me just perfectly wrote me a very comforting email, not too pushy, saying they'd be there for me. And I think in about a week, I, I came, you know, I, I came out of my temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. I was fine. This is the house we told John and Melissa. We said, uh, after we were here for about <coughs> 10 minutes, it felt like we were here for yeah. 10 minutes. And we said, uh, get us this house. Yeah. Get us this house, yeah. I, I always felt like I was their only customer. Yeah. And, you know, the more I've gotten to know them and the, the more I realize how much business they actually do, for them to make me feel like that says a lot about their how they handle their business and their work ethic. Just throughout the 
the entire process, I felt like I was their only customer because anytime I would, anytime we would contact them through email or phone call or text, it seemed like they would get back to us in just a very timely manner. Never, we would never have to wait more than a day for sure. Usually the same day, usually within a few hours, they'd get back to us. And even if it was things, questions that had to be researched, they would do the research and get back to us typically with the same day. Right. Well, they would so. first get back to us saying, okay, I'm right. going to go ahead and do the research. Great feeling. And then they would get right back to us. Yeah. I think during the offer process, I think the way, they're, the way they handle the negotiation and also I, I think the way they put the personal touch in there where they, they not only present the numbers to the, the sellers but also the personal side and give us a little information about us and why we want this house and some of our background, I think that helped also to, for us to get, to, get the, um, to be the bid that was accepted. Well, they, they kid around because they say uh, they need to have more of a balanced life because that's, all, that's what they do. That real estate is their, their lives. And it's nice that that's what they're a couple and that's what they can do. And they do a lot of networking, which is important when you're finding your, to, to find a mortgage, uh, a loan guy, a, lo a loan person. But I would just say that they're passionate and they high end service. And oh, yes, definitely recommend we would definitely them recommend them. I, I hope I, I'm gonna, I plan on bringing them a lot of business and anybody who gets them are going to be very lucky. I would just like to thank them for giving us the home of our dreams. Yeah, our forever home. Yep. <laughs> we get quiet. <laughs>